just some shock, but a lot of resolve. He was able to, he was joking about it and talking about it in a way that only my father could do. But it was just that moment when he stood up after being shot at and just showed resolve to keep fighting for this country. That that was everything for me. I, I just literally told him, I go, you're the biggest badass I know. <laughs> And uh, so we had some jokes about that. that. That was the first thing I thought to think of, even in that moment, because it, w it was that powerful. And uh, that's the kind of resolve. That's why we had peace deals under Trump. That's why we had a great economy. You need that. We're watching right now the weakness that's led our country into all of these disasters, into these wars. And it's because that's the nature of predation. When a predator sees weakness that we're exuding on the world stage, they pounce. And can so I, I think it's going to be important to get that back. And I'm looking forward to it. Can I just note right now uh, that boo was at Senator Mitch McConnell. I should know the t t Kentucky delegation is over there. But on that, you know, how has that changed, do you think, how your dad is approaching this convention and this campaign overall? Has it changed it? Uh, I think it has. I mean, I know he, he basically scrapped his speech that they've been working on. I was in the office when they were working with it for hours last week. And I think they just started from scratch with a, just a different message. We are going to try to unite this country. I mean, I think that kind of moment of uh, just just shocking moment that really changed, I think, even in his mindset of what we need to do to replace everything. I mean, I basically, I think we all got the directive like, hey, whatever you were doing, and I, I tend to get a little bit hot. <laughs> so we're going to tone it down and keep it uh, keep a different message out there. And I think that's going to be important, actually. I think it's going to be important for us to move forward that way as a country. Yo, what's going on? So, yeah, that was just uh, Donald Trump Jr. So, speaking on the aftermath of that uh, post-assassination uh, attempt. So, yeah. Um, and we all know this was done by Thomas Matthew Crooks. I actually had some um, videos about this, too, of him um, before he died. Thomas Matthew Crooks was, like, beginning bullied. Um, you know, the kids was talking about his uh, size and, uh, you know, his uh, shoes and his, and his attire and everything, too. So, but, um, like I say, you know, as I, as he kind of thinking about this a little bit more too i don't believe this was staged some people believe it was but the thing is is that if it was staged i mean an innocent person got killed and then my thing is too why would you kind of stage something to get views or to get attention that doesn't make any sense putting your life on the line like hey you know ex i want you to accidentally kind of like don't shoot me in the head but you know i'm gonna turn around and you shoot me and that's just too much planning you gotta be one hell of a shot. That's just ridiculous. And then, uh, and, this, and then that person, the shooter, got killed too. I mean, you gotta be really crazy to sign up for something like that. That's just how I feel, you know. So, um, even though he was knocked down, people saying he was walking around with fake blood. I mean, they put it on him as the you know Secret Service tackled him down off his shoes. I don't really into an agreement with that. I'm like, nah, man. I mean, I, I understand the people who don't, uh, who kind of despise Trump, but believe this is stage. It's a conspiracy talk, but it's not. Um, uh, truly in my heart, I believe like this was definitely um, this is definitely was like a hit on him. Um, it was and by the grace of God and divine intervention, he's still living. But um, but anyway, just want to post that you guys continue to like, come subscribe, share this video. Young Lee Junior, I love y'all. I'm out.